So I'm going to do a little flip through. Some people have asked me how I'm using my monthly view versus my weekly view for planning. Um, I will say at this point I'm pretty comfortable with my system. I believe I have that elusive planner piece. We'll see how things <laughs> progress, but I've, it's been a couple months and I'm doing good. So, um, start with this is my happy planner, obviously. And I, two months ago, this summer when I switched planners, um, I went from a coil system of off brand, I got Barnes and Nobles, calendars.com, that kind of thing. I've been using for years. And I switched to a happy planner because of the disk system and being able to customize it. It worked for what I needed it. So this is my planner. I just have some post-its, dashboard with some notes that I need at hand. This is my dog's prescription we're trying with the vet that changes. These are the uh, sales my client that I do uh, blog posts for and such are running weekly. I needed those at hand. Just a sticker I made. Travel plans at hand. Some stickers that I like to have available to me while I'm, I take this to work. I do have a, a nine to five job as well as the other projects I do. And this is sits on my desk. So I have some stickers I can throw on there if I make an appointment or something and stamps. This I added, it is a new thing I'm trying. These are blog post ideas. I'm trying it for October to try to plan out some blog posts and whatnot. These ideas will go into here, develop into stories. I don't know. I cut up a book, punched it, put it in. We'll see how it goes. Um, that's a work in progress, so I don't know how it's going to work out. Here at a glance, obviously, I do clip my old months together, but I keep a couple months in there because I like to look back. Um, for different reasons like today I'm going to show you how I use my October monthly and so had I taken that out I would not have that available I do store them but I don't want to have to go dig them out every time I use want to see them for something so the note Erin Condren has note a note page and I've seen people break it up like this happy planner already does it for you goals important dates grateful list and I'm going to skip to my November view just for a second. Same thing. This is a dashboard to keep me in my current month. I use here. And I am getting ready to travel this month, so I have a list of stuff I wanted to get beforehand. This is my November bucket list. I'm not a fan of this particular list. Uh, I used... Um, uh, this is what fabulously planned and it's okay. It's just more date oriented whereas the October one I used from uh, the trench coat lady uh, oh, and um, Hers is more self-care oriented and that's what I'm going to continue forth with so I'm going to swap that out I think This is November's monthly view This is a 30-day challenge. Every month I do a 30-day challenge. I try to do. I don't always succeed. I don't get every day done, but I do try, and this is where I log it. Um, right now I'm doing a health one, and that's how you do a plank. And then I also keep track of this is my budget for my client for the month. Um, this is my writing goal for Nano, which is a writing thing I do. I, uh, every year in November. This is what I'm going to read this month. So it works out well. Um, I also track, you know, girl things, my cycle, whatever else I want here so that when I go back and look, but menopause is set in, so that's not such an issue anymore. Uh, so now versus my weekly layout. This is two weeks from now because this week is a mess. I don't want to show you this week too much. But um, this is me getting ready. This is where I track daily things. My word count will be here. Um, appointments versus to-do lists. Um, 
self-care what I want to get done for the week as far as that goes. Um, so I don't meal plan here. I meal plan in the monthly view of, well that's, let's go to November, monthly view of the fitness insert that I have in the back. That's what this little tab is for, is for my fitness insert. So you can see this is a week at a glance. I have my weight covered up here. I track my food and my calories. That was a bad day. And my exercise and my sleep. Because I struggled to sleep, although I didn't that week. Um, this is where I meal plan um, for the week. And a shopping list for the week. And these are awesome. They just pop in and out, obviously, with the ARC system. So I can do a grocery list as I'm meal planning. I love that system. I also have added tabs to the side, brain dump, products I want to try, wish lists, contacts, things like that, that um, I put those tabs on. And they're just, see if I have a sample here, lined pages, blank pages that you can do whatever list you want to. So. That's what I do monthly versus weekly. Now I wanted to go back to the October monthly because people said they wanted to see examples. You saw November. October was a little different because the 30 day challenge I did was self care. And I went by this Alexis Trenchcoat free printable her self care for the month. And I tried to do a self care thing each day. I didn't write them in here because I just kept this list handy and check them off as I did it. So I also have things like decorate, things that I do a specific day of the month. Days I had overtime, I marked on here because my boss says, hey, did you have any overtime last month? Because I get paid once a month. I can flip to my monthly view in a heartbeat, say, yes, I did. Um, uh, let's see, no cycle. Um, the movies I wanted to watch that month, the scary movies, my family will watch like one you know, movie a week as family night. And I had made a list of movies I wanted to watch this month because it was Halloween. The book that I was reading last month. Um, I don't do a lot of decoration because normally, as you saw by November's, this is pretty full up uh, with plans. Um, prep for Nano. That's not something I do daily. So, anyways, uh, changing my air filter. Now it's winter, we're turning the heater on. So once a month I will change the filter. I will mark that on here. Things like that. Things that you don't do daily. Track them on this so that at a glance you can say, hey, the dog um, got a bath the first of the month. We got that done last month. You know, it's not like they're going to get it done weekly. It's, or, well, maybe you do. I don't know. I don't. <laughs> so the things that you don't have to track on a daily basis can be in your monthly view. I don't understand why some people put birthdays here and birthdays on the other. Um, other than needing to know you need to buy a card. But that's why I have mine on the important dates on the first page before the weekly views. On the notes page. This I use for things that I want to, I don't, I don't want to double dip. I don't want to record things twice. That seems like a waste of time to me. And between full-time job, writing, um, and everything else, I need a planner that functions, isn't just pretty. Now I will say, I like the deco. I mean, you can see some of my stuff last month. I duck. I don't do, I'm not a, this is one of the prettiest spreads for October. I am not a, 